It's a very tough dance, that dance you do between comedy and drama. I mean, you guys have done it seamlessly and very well because there are a lot of shows that can't do it, and I'm sure a lot of people, possibly me included at the beginning, thought that it was kind of a gimmick and a fun gimmick. But you can't be a gimmick and survive you know, over 100 episodes. I mean, it's got to be a solid premise. You've got to have great writing. You've got to have a real you know, kind of, uh, you, have, you, have to, you have to be a real show and, and, and have something that people want to see week after week. And the ratings have borne it out. It's, it's been consistently a great show uh, and popular with the audience. But it, did you have any clue going in, David or, or Randy, that this, this was going to be any kind of, a, it had any kind of longevity beyond a, Initial run. Uh, no, I mean I think it's, it's, it is a different tone than any other show on television, and, and that kind of makes it fresh and, and somewhat unproven. And it, it starts in New Jersey with the writers and and what they lay out, and then it's just been a great family between the actors and the producers, who all seem of like mind, and the network and studio. When we're all together, and the the, the we have a read through every week before the um, filming of the show. And so much gets done in that read through, and, and and it just seems like, from pre-production through post-production, is even when we get in the editing room, you know, David will go in one day, and then I'll go in, and Tony will go in. And I've never been on a show where so many executive producers would go in, and make changes that all seem to agree with the other. I mean, we all make changes which feel like it elevates the show, and the network comes in with their notes and the studio, and we all seem to kind of be of the same exact mindset of what the show is. And I think it's always hard to find out what a show is, but what was it written? Originally, with this man starring in mind, was this always on the A list? David, I don't think so. Um, no, uh, because, I was, no, because what David's <laughs> trying to say is I was the last thing they had. <laughs> um, you know, it's when it started at ABC, they had a certain idea of of the kind of actor it, it should be, and uh, I had a different idea of what kind of actor it should be, and we never were able to cast it. So when it went to USA, uh, yes, uh, I had been in business with Tony's manager years ago, and um, and I had called her, or she had called me, I don't even remember, about Tony, and, uh, um, and he read it, and we put it together with him. It was actually kind of easy once we got to USA Network. Was it, does ABC have regret that this wasn't uh, something that they stuck with and kept, do you think? Uh, at that time, I would imagine so because ABC was in pretty dire straits back then and in fact put it on the air. I mean, I think we're the only show in history to be on three different networks. Yeah, didn't it, it, ran, it ran simultaneously it ran, it, in season one, It ran one, a little right? bit on, on ABC, but you know, no one was really invested in it to see it succeed there. So I think uh, after a while they took it off and, uh, and then we went back to USA and then recently NBC's been showing it.